Hello YouTube, this is CG Constructions and today I'm going to show you how to get construct source models and how to rig them and how to animate them or just animate yeah. The first thing, thing we're going to do is get Rinbra The link is in the description Of course to do this you need 3D Studios Max and it don't matter what version you have. I just use 2011. Okay. When you get here, you can see this Rinra 32 bit and Rinra 64 bit. I use 32 bit, so that's uh, what I will, what would work for me. I don't know what you use, but uh, you probably know by yourself. So just hit download now here. And wait. Okay. Here, just say save file, save it to your desktop or something, and install it. Okay. After that, go to the next link in the description, and you get over here. It's a link to how to download 3ds Max CSS molds. I have not uh, um, made it and. Uh, uh, exported it and all that stuff. So, just go down here and say download now. Okay. And just wait. And you can see if it not pop up, just click here. Okay. Save file. And just save it to a desktop or where you would like it. Okay, it's finished. Now, uh, double click here, and you see this pop up. Here, there's a folder here named screens. You take that and drag it to where you want, and uh, just wait till it finished with extracting. Okay, you can, if you want, you can just rename it to CSS or 3ds Max CSS Models. Oh, something you can remember. Okay, now get in uh, 3d Studios Max here and go down here and say and open a folder here. Okay, you see weapons, here's uh, many files and uh, examples, it's just the example and they have made it, uh, had made, okay, T, characters, the girl and the lead, I like it, um, CT models, urban and all that stuff, and animations. To uh, download these animations, you need um, something called uh, Wealth Importer, I think. I think, yeah. Yeah, Wealth, um, wealth um, Importer. But uh, I'm not going to show you how to download that for now. Because we don't need these animations. Okay. To get this into. Do you do it, Max? Open the folder you want, or the, get to the character you want, 
or weapon or what you want and you see this if you go to details Z here it's a screen file or probably the other two is just some textures okay hold this down go into 3ds max and drop it and now you say merge file okay you got him here just uh, put him like there okay to center him like we're gonna do is just select this bone right here in the middle and right click on all these three or just these two right click and right click now he is in the center if we right click on this it just will center it completely don't want that okay <coughs> okay now you have him right here okay what we're gonna do now is put materials on him so hit M to get the materials it is a um, b -b press this button here pick material from object and click on the lead or your model okay now you see here there's two different uh, material uh, channels I what can say just get the um, first one and go to max click here here and now just find uh, where you saved your folder there T lead okay and you see it's the T lead so it's this open and click on this so you can see the mode okay now we need the glasses take a new material here do the same click uh, I think I should click on the glasses here yeah. there maps there there and you just go up here and see what you have opened from the last okay now we got this yeah you can see if you are rendered it's looking pretty good okay um as you see here I'm just gonna freeze them this bones automatically in the mode but this not it's not the best bones um it can be uh, used but I will say bipet is a bit better because when you see here, I select this bone here and uh, I drag it up normally I like if I drag it up it should bow to like like this and uh, it's just doing a little easier for example now also if I select the arm here I put it in it's just gonna do this it's not what we want so see you in the next tutorial on how to rig the um, <coughs> the uh, construct source character. Okay, see you later. So please leave a comment in the comment section below and request the next tutorial. Congratulations. You managed to kill that boss, you see.